Temple is a science fiction cyberpunk thriller. It's set in the year 2085 where the ocean levels has risen to the point that uh, entire coastal cities or islands are being flooded. The story starts in an urban environment where a genetic virus and cybernetic beings are taking over a population. The lead character, Oz, is thrown into the chaos and has to find a way to survive. This project started, for me, started um, a little bit over two years ago, actually, with uh, with the Akira project. I had a friend that just sent me a link to their Indiegogo campaign, and I saw a group of people that were really passionate about doing something, and I just wanted to support them. Quick story: I ended up flying myself to Montreal to work on the Akira project with them, and it turned out really, really well. Uh, a couple months back, I, I made a post on my social media that I wanted to do something action-related and, and at the time was talking to Laura about doing something action, like, oh, let's just do something with Oz again. So they've been developing the script, they sent me an email asking me if I would want to do something. Of course, I said yes, and, uh, and now I'm in Montreal, so, yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> so right now, he's way too close, so you, by the time you dash, what we talked about in the uh, fight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready? And frame. And action! <laughs> the idea behind Temple actually came from the Akira project, a live action fan trailer based on the manga Akira that we shot two years ago. We launched it online, got a lot of media attention in 2014, and a lot of fan support. Stemming from that support, people wanted us to do something else. We came up with a story that was everything we loved about the film. Science fiction, cyberpunk, manga, and martial arts. So this core team from the Akira project came back for Temple, including the lead actor, Oswick Chow, who flew in from Vancouver. We also have a lot of production support coming from Blackmagic Design, Cinepool, and Cineground. This is allowing us to shoot a short trailer, hopefully, that will finance the feature film version of Temple. Well, Anne came to me with a really uh, convincing mood board, uh, which kind of brought upon like this video game aesthetic mixed with a 80s film Blade Runner. So what I did, I vibed off that feel. What I wanted to do is create a really low-key situation. And I wanted to make sure that the lighting felt like it was really top lighting, because I wanted it to feel really functional. Sometimes the less pretty things are cooler looking anyway. It's a little more rough, a little more punk rock. How I got involved into the project and how it all started for me was, um, I, was in I was in Toronto and I met up with uh, Ray and with Laura. They told me about Anne wanting to make a follow-up to a Kira, and it was this fighting film that he originally proposed. And I heard about it, and I was like, you know what, I really want to get involved. And then from that, it just led one thing to another, and visual effects kicked in. And now we're here and making the film. It's pretty cool. And then he walks into the light. And action! Ah! <laughs> 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 Cut. C'est coupé. Uh, my role as a production designer, basically, um, I designed the costumes and the sets. I was lucky enough to get this space two weeks before we started shooting. And I had two of my seamstress friends that are also amazing uh, costume designers make the costumes for me. So once I got into this space, I knew that the costumes were going really well and I didn't have to supervise that anymore. It's just when you grab it, Grab it, give it a second for it to be like really focused on the arms and okay, sure, sure. and then pull it. Okay. And action! <laughs>
Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, you spanked me good. <laughs> thing for for this project is probably all the all the innovation that we're trying to do with the camera work. We're using a lot of really cool cameras from Black Magic and we're just trying all these different rigs. We're trying these body rigs which will give it a different vibe and we have this body rig from the back that kind of looks like third person perspective just like a lot of the games that I play so that's kind of cool. I'm, I'm excited to see how that turned out. And action! Water! Water? Water? Cut. He's wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm really sorry, guy. Okay, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, a lot of these people I haven't worked with before, and to really get to know a lot of them a little bit better, it's always exciting for me. I always enjoy that. It's my favorite part of going into a production is meeting the new people, different talents, and so forth. And the actors here are really great. I'm just thrilled to be part of that. Okay, so the uh, the coolest thing for me in this project, I always wanted to do action. It's also one of the biggest challenge because. A lot of it was new. I had to figure out the uh, choreography that worked and I wanted to tell a story also. I didn't want to just shoot an action piece. I really wanted this to be a story that people could believe in and would want to watch. I was pretty surprised at how kind of violent and gory this thing was going to be and I didn't really want to make it that way but I at the same time really enjoyed that so I hope that you guys enjoy it too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>